We're going to answer this question, which is related to serial dilution. So let's give this question a read and let's figure out what are the information that we're given because there's quite a lot of information, even though this question only has one sentence. So let's start with what we can find. 5 mg per ml, that is going to be the concentration of our stock, which is the concentrated solution. So we have the concentration is 5 mg per ml and then we are using a total volume of 10 ml at each step. So we're going to keep that in mind and then we see what that means. And it's going through a three-step serial dilution. So which means we're going to have three test tubes, we're going to do three series of dilution and we're doing that at 1 to 10 ratio. So that's actually a dilution factor of 1 to 10. Basically what that means is the dilution factor is a ratio of the volume of stock solution to the volume of diluted solution. So in this case, what it means is since we are preparing 10 ml at each step, on the first step of our serial dilution, we take 1 ml of the stock solution and then we add 9 ml of deionized water. So together that forms 10 ml of solution on the first test tube and then we stir it up. And then after that, we take 1 ml from test tube number 1 and then we add 9 ml of water and then we stir it up and that gives us the solution in test tube number 2. And then we do the same thing for our third step. We take 1 ml from test tube number 2 and then we add 9 ml of DNS water and in total, we get 10 ml of diluted solution in test tube number 3. So with that, we've done 3 steps of zero dilution at 1 to 10 ratio. So we continue on, basically we have already extracted all the information that are given. Now we move on to see what we need to find. So we need to calculate the final concentration. So we need a plan. Basically we can first figure out what is the total dilution that happened after our three step zero dilution. And then once we figure out the total dilution, we can use that and figure out what's the final concentration in our test tube number three. So let's figure out the total dilution. So we need the dilution factor. The first test tube, we're doing a dilution factor of one to 10 because we take one ml of the stock and then we dilute it to a total of 10 ml. So that's how we got the one to 10 ratio. Now in the second step, we also did a one to 10 dilution. So we multiply by one to 10. And then in step three, we also did another one to 10 dilution. So all in all, we did three steps. So we have 110 times itself. And that gives us one over 1000. So basically you just take 110 times 110 times 110. And that gives us one over 1000. So that is actually a 1000 fold dilution. So to find the final concentration, which is the concentration of solution in test tube number three, what we do is we take that 1 over 1000 that we've calculated and then we just multiply it with the concentration of our stock solution, which is 5 mg per ml. So if we do the math, it will work out to be 5 times 10 to the negative 3 mg per ml. That is the final concentration of our solution in test tube number 3 after a 3 step zero dilution at 1 to 10 dilution factor. With that, we're done answering this serial dilution question. I have lots of other videos related to stock solution, dilution, serial dilution, dilution series, and related calculations. So do check them out in the description box below if you're interested. Here's a video that I've handpicked for you. Do check out our app that's available in both Google Play and App Store. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss future videos. Your support means a lot to me.